Felinski joins us now. Thanks so much for joining us, um, Mr. Felinski. So uh, I want to ask you about compliance and, and what people have been doing there on the northern beaches. Are you seeing people staying at home and when they're going out just wearing masks? Yeah, very high levels of compliance, Madeline. Uh, everywhere I got, uh, well, I haven't been that that far actually because I've been locked up at home too. Um, but everywhere you go, you see people wearing masks. Businesses shut down pretty quickly, and as you're seeing from the testing numbers in New South Wales, anyone who could or needed to was going out and getting tested over the last few days. The testing numbers have been really terrific in in New South Wales. Um, uh, so I just want to ask you about the numbers. So eight out of 44,000 tests was uh, pretty good. Um, how are you feeling about how those numbers are trending? Uh, look, I think you'll probably see today something similar to those numbers again, assuming testing numbers are around the same. Um, and one of those um, was for, out of hotel quarantine was a health worker who works um, in the transport of people in hotel quarantine, so not associated with the Avalon cluster. And we already know there'll be one more today from, um, from her because um, her partner was also infected. So, um, look, if we get numbers similar to yesterday, I think that would be an excellent result and would give you good cause to have some hope for as normal a Christmas as you can hope for in 2020. Are you disturbed that New South Wales Health still hasn't been able to find exactly how the Northern Beaches cluster emerge? They still don't know a week into this outbreak. Uh, disturbed isn't the word. Frustrated is probably a better description of it. I would say that the reason that this has occurred is because someone's not being wholly honest with New South Wales Health about why, where they've been or um, what they've been doing in the last few weeks. Or, or uh, another, so another theory, as some people have posited, is it could potentially be flight crew who came and have since gone home. Well, I mean, New South Wales Health has um, ruled that out because right. uh, it is quite true that there's a lot of flight crew that live and reside in, in the or around the Avalon area, but all of them were tested again. All of them came back negative. So I think one of the unfair things out of this outbreak is that initially people... Um, rushed to a conclusion that it must have been flight crew, and it turns out that um, so far they've they've not been able to find a single person from a flight crew that resides in Australia who's tested positive to COVID. So that may have been an unfair conclusion. Um, your the Premier Gladys Berejiklian has criticised other states for uh, being so swift to shut down borders. Can you understand why they were that swift? And obviously it's having an impact on, on probably lots of people that you know um, there on the northern beaches. But can you understand why that was the case? Yeah, I think there's a level of frustration in New South Wales. I mean, there's, there's obviously a great deal of understanding about this because you have a situation where the first duty of any government is the safety of its people. So no one um, begrudges any state premier or state government that shuts borders quickly to ensure that the spread doesn't go into their um, state and, and into their communities. I think where the frustration is, is that New South Wales has taken the vast bulk of returning Australians, um, uh, close to 90,000 compared to other states. And also that while um, some people are very quick to throw up borders, they're very, very slow to bring them down. And especially at this time of year, and, and no one wants to jump the gun. We need to see the data and we need to be informed by the medical experts and the science. But if the trend continues the way that it has, you would hope um, that especially for rural and regional New South Wales, and indeed, you know, there are parts of my community. I mean, this um, cluster is very much concentrated in the Avalon area. There are parts of my community that haven't had a single positive test returned, who are probably looking at it and saying, well, we don't quite understand why we're being locked down or locked up um, for Christmas, given the numbers and the way that the data is falling. OK, Jason Felinski will be keeping our fingers crossed for good news out of New South Wales today. Thanks very Absolutely. much. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it.